Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we carry on with our playlist on creating a custom theme for PlayStation 1.7 and this is where we left the last time so uh, we pretty much organized all the elements into our header sections and in today's episode we'll be focusing on this little icon representing the shopping cart so uh, what we are going to do first of all we'll be testing how we add product and the behavior of this icon of this element when we do added product to our cart and also we need to integrate that drop down that classic drop down from the 1.6 when we do hover this cart or this icon so let's start right now first of all let's go ahead and pick any product in our uh in our shop and click add the cart so by clicking this button we will have this uh, model cart element that is basically uh rendered from this model.tpl right here under our themes and it just showed us some information about the product the price the quantity the color etc and we have to call to action continue shopping or proceed to checkout for now i will keep doing things on the shop so here we do see that we have an update for our icons showing that we have one product all right so that's really cool but other for a best user experience uh, i don't really need to click and to go to the specific shopping cart but i could see what kind of products i have in my cart so we need to add that drop down that we did talk about so here i don't uh, i'm not a magician i need to google a bit and actually i find a good answer in one of the press the shop forms or forum uh it's a forum yep uh, answer that uh, it's simply a copy paste solution so big shout out to mr Presta gold who really give a good solution here so just copy that code and go to your uh, not model but shopping card.tpl and here under the header that is containing the information about the number for the product and the color etc just paste that so here i would like really to add a bit of commenting right here that i could um simplify things for me so here um let's say start the uh, drop down info and let's add another one here saying that this is the end of the drop down info and paste that code so let me make this text slightly bigger that you could see it better so i'll be using my formatter here and here i'm using vs code as i said previously i'm using this extension for supporting the smarty and formatting and all that fancy stuff Pretty all right so let's uh beautify a bit this code get rid of all the ugly space all right great now let's go back to our front page and try to refresh this page okay Control f5 and what do we see so we first of all we did broke our layout we have expanded um headers with plenty of information so let me just explain here we have one hummingbird printed t-shirt which is the name of the product which is this one actually and we have the price and we have a call to action that is basically for now it's just a word saying remove and we'll be updating that with an icon later and we have some global information like subtotal the shipping is free and the total of the cart and two other cta or call to actions one is view cart and the other one is check out pretty cool but for now this is ugly and i would like to test one more thing here which is how this element how this addition actually will react when i don't have no product into my shopping cart so click remove all right so it does show an ugly really ugly ui so we need first of all to um let's say make this beautiful and at least don't make it broke our template so starting as always from our inspector is that big enough okay that's it in, that's enough great so our element is basically wrapped inside a body cart hover content all right so we have a global parent that we could target the child of this element later into our scss Okay, so here just there is a class that I really don't need to keep, which is body here. It's kind of generic and it's not good really to have such class inside or assign it to, uh, let's say, um, some deep 
or uh, whatever. I just forget the word. So I go to my devs folder here where I do define all the assets, as you remember, and I have component here. And here I will look for drop or shopping cart, which is I don't see it actually. So let me type cart here, simply cart. There we go. We have our cart. So scroll all the way to the top, to the bottom. Sorry, and this is what we are the last time. If you still remember, well, unfortunately, I did not uh, commit this. But uh, oh, let me just tell you about this. You can find this at GitHub.com. Um, let me go to this GitHub. That you could. Um, clone this project and you create your own theme so this is how to our html to press the shop this is the repo that you could clone from it the the code of this episode all right and i'll be sharing that in the description of this video and the other video from the playlist so cart.scss go here so we will not be actually integrating our code under the header but we'll be creating a new parent which is cart over content and from there i will start building the the hierarchy or let's say of our elements so here that we have a new l that is empty and this ul actually it will be containing the list of the product so i imagine that we have ul and we have another le right so this this is containing the list of the products we could add it actually a bit of command a small command here um product list and a bit down we will have the cart subtotal which is good last name oops there we go so over here paste that it's a class okay and it has a product as an element first one so product oops come on that's product and also we have these spans that we could target them easily um we have actually a class or span label in value so we could do this easily like this so we have span and dot label dot, dot label and dot value nice okay okay i just swiped that one right okay now we move on a bit on this class that contained pretty much nothing for now so uh we maybe need to add a product to the car that we could see what this element could contain and we have shipping div that is containing shipping information so again i'll be copying this class name here um so we still will not enter product but we'll be here at the same level okay so this is product this is the div empty this is the shipping and again we have uh two span with the same classes there, so we can copy that and normally these two are total okay card total and finally normally we have this cta or wish list action let's have two call to action two anchors okay so here we have an a1 e2 the first one is view cart and the second one is normally go to cart or go to um go to uh checkout page so here and this class name first one and dot and the check out okay so court wish list whatever that seems okay as a tractor now i'll give it a bit of formatting here and i would like to add one product to the cart okay so click at the cart here close it and we can move back so i just want to check the empty divs that we saw in it here one is this one so it does contain pretty much nothing and this is the other one so we could start customizing our element so the very first thing is to take it out of the dom which is basically assigning to it an absolute position so here we say position absolute so that immediately fix our um our layout let's say so what about giving it a background let's start with the uh, green for now and a width of um let's say 200 pixel 
Okay, now problem then left to zero, just to push it to the left or right zero actually. And here we have to, as we did always, to assign a position absolute to our cart. Well, actually, to the parent wrapper, which is this one. Okay, so here I will say this is a position relative that fixed my problem immediately. And we could carry on with our element. So that's for sure an ugly uh, background, but no problem. So here we could add the Z index of 99 that it will be on top of all the elements But it seems like 200 is really um, not too much for displaying like this long number or this long uh, name of the product Okay, How about a bit of padding like 2 EM which is really huge so 1 EM bit of border radius Come on We could add this to be 5 pixel. Well, that's a bit gentle bit of boxed shadow one pixel one pixel let's say red i'm a bit awkward with picking colors so don't really copy me exactly so let's pick this color here um well that's really ugly let's keep it white and we'll be adding a border here one pixel solid let's go red again and let's pick oops let's pick this gray color right Okay, that's better. Now we could fix this color that really ugly. And we could click at this tool and here we could play a bit around with this color of, the, of this boxed shadow. And we could reduce its opacity to something right here that it's distinguishable. <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay, this is a big shitty number, so let's round it to 28. And we're good. Okay, I would like to add the transition here. That to add a bit of smoothness to our shopping cart. It will be 300 microsecond. Uh, and let's save this. So, cart hover content. This element actually. Okay, then I would like to add a little property as I said, position relative to our shopping wrapper element go away and I like always formatting now let's give it a quick control F5 all right pretty cool nice it does work now we have to hide it from our view so we could do uh, we have two options actually whether hide it using the display known and we cannot really lay on that transition that smooth transition or push it somewhere to the left or to the right then when i hover it will slide in right so i think sliding will be better so i will give it a huge right position so instead of right zero let's give it like um 100 to the right or minus whatever so what about raising this to the huge number um to position absolute well um, why is that? Well, because I think the parent is relative here. So when I push an element outside of it, so if I do um, overflow hidden, that will hide the element, which is really ugly. Not good. Not good at all. So. Uh, there a way that I could push this because I really need to introduce that smooth slide in. So uh, margin is have no sense I know, but I'm just trying that about doing this. Dick, 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 dick. It's ugly. Yeah, it's ugly. Um, so I could do this in another way, which is um, applying a rule on the header element, the whole header element, which is this one. And um, this won't solve the problem actually, but let's say I will do overflow hidden. All right, then if I go back to my element, just click quickly here, over content and right zero, that will cause another problem. So I have another idea about that. So we could hide only um, horizontally. Okay, go back to the header here and overflow let's say um is that y yeah it's supposed to be y or x okay i'm not good with these 
things well that's creating more problems so let's stop things right there and here it will be display no and when i do hover on this element we have to add a new property here so end dot hover so just pay attention here the rule will be applied to this desktop cart the global parent of our cart and we'll be targeting this element all right so that one and display block not in line grid but all right dude no controller five again so that is not shown it's shown it's not shown it's shown and that is really working well pretty cool but here we have to action actually just have to manage that when you click on this card i'll be taken to the card page shopping cart page but here if i do hover i have the information so uh we could stop right here for this uh video about the shopping cart um please if you like this video do like it and leave a good comment if you did not watch the other episode i do invite you to check the description of this video or click on the puppy and that will show up somewhere here indicating that you can watch the full playlist so this is the fifth episode more is coming subscribe to the channel and peace